So next to go, winner of yesterday's Grand Prix, the world number five ranked combination, the biggest competitor to Isabel Werth's fourth World Cup title, Laura Graves and Verdades. Laura, who won two World Cup qualifiers and a five-star freestyle on 84% with this new freestyle at the Adequan Global Dressage Festival in Wellington, Florida this spring, where she was unbeaten. She's the reigning Pan Am Games silver medalist and team gold medalist, a medalist from the Rio Olympic Games when she finished fourth in the freestyle on 85%. That's a very steep half pass. Keeping the lovely activity into the pier. It is very, very active, but he's not bearing the weight and sitting in the classical Piaf way. Transition not quite on the music there. I mean, I'm being really picky. That was like a step out, but still. Well, having won the Grand Prix yesterday, she is bearing the weight of expectation. And she has Isabel Verth, no less, breathing down her neck. I want to see him taking the contacts a little bit more in that extended walk. She's offering him the rein and she's offering him the hand forward and he's not really taking it. To put it in jumping context though, psychologically she's going first in the jump off. If she was going after Isabel, she'd know the target she has to chase. At the moment, anything that feels like it's going slightly wrong must be enormously magnified in her mind. Yeah, some people it can work to their favor if they go first, whereas others like the pressure of chasing down a score. It didn't work for Isabel yesterday, though. Just seen a bit more power in that extended counter. It's losing a little bit of connection in the pirouette. Second of four double pirouettes in this new freestyle floor plan for Laura Graves has a very, very high degree of difficulty. Better connection, just a bit of tension there at the end. I mean, that was dinner plate size. More expression in that extended canter. going for the pirouettes, isn't she?
Again, maintaining that activity and bounce, but like you say, not really sitting down and a double pirouette in the PF too. Yeah, and the change of direction within the Piaf mm. pirouette rather than moving on and starting a whole new one. It's very, very difficult. It's original, but you know, the quality of the underlying technical movement. It was getting good marks yesterday, but you know, the absolute purist will say it is it is an incredibly active and almost frenetic Piaf. It's not truly correct. It'll be interesting to see where the judges fall today. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. Obviously, yesterday, Laura went first. She performed really well. Mistake-free test in the Grand Prix. Isabel came out, was obviously feeling a bit of pressure, made a few mistakes, and then fell behind Laura. So let's see how this plays out today. Laura Graves and Verdades go into the lead on 89.082. A massive new best score for this freestyle for Laura. Artistic marks there right up in the 90 percentages. Laura Graves and Vidardis set a very, very high standard here of 89.082 to go into the lead for the United States of America.